Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great today and I want to say Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Uh, let's remember all our fallen uh, in the armed forces. And I hope everybody has a, a good day. Okay, um, on our prayer request, Logan's st uh, hip still hurts. I uh, pray that it gets better. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son, Michael. Uh, I'm going June 12th to have a um, mole taken off, and they're sending it to be tested. I pray that there'll be no cancer. Uh, Jackie's side is still hurting. Uh, continued prayers for her. All right, on our scripture today, it comes from uh, 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, When It's Time. When my friends Al and Kathy Schiffer flew their iconic World War II era airplane to air shows, it was the reactions of the elderly war veterans that meant the most to them. They would come by so they could talk about the wars they served in and the airplanes they flew. Most of their battle stories were told with tears in their eyes. Many have said that the best news they received while serving their country were the words, the war is over boys, it's time to go home. These words from an earlier generation relate to the war believers in Jesus are engaged in. Our good fight of faith against the devil, the enemy of our souls, the Apostle Peter warns, uh, warned us, your enemy the devil prowls around roaring, li roaring li like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. I'm having trouble with my floaters today. They're, they're moving around in front of the words. I'm sorry. Uh, he tempts us in various ways and uses discouragement and suffering and persecution to try to draw us away from our faith in Jesus. Peter challenged his first readers and us today to be alert and of sober mind. We depend on the Holy Spirit so we won't let the enemy cause us to surrender the fight and bring us down. We know that one day Jesus will return. When he comes, his words will have an effect similar to that by wartime soldiers bringing tears to our eyes and joy to our hearts. The war is over, children. It's time to go home. What help do you need from God to resist the devil's schemes? How could your fellow believers, your fellow believers help you? Almighty God, you're far greater than anyone or anything that stands against me. Please help me to rely on your strength and power. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great Memorial Day. And uh, I'd like to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.